King of Sports. New Japan Pro Wrestling. Welcome, everyone, to New Japan Strong. Ian Riccoboni, Matt Raywald coming at you. And, Matt, this is the one that a lot of folks have been waiting for. On the eve of 4th of July, the United Empire comes to the mainland, comes to the colonies, and looks to expand their land. This is a special United Empire Rising edition of New Japan Strong, Matt. And it starts for me at the very top. The main event, Will Ospreay, for the first time, takes on Homicide. What a clash of styles we're going to see. The hardcore legend that is Homicide making his name on the East Coast and the streets of New York, Philly, all over this country, takes on the aerial assassin, the Commonwealth Kingpin. You know it's going to be good. And we'll see another New Japan Strong debut. The names keep coming, and this one excites me more than almost anybody. Willie Mack, a man you're familiar with from Impact, I'm familiar with from Ring of Honor. He goes one-on-one -on -one against, well, Jeff Cobb. This one is going to be a hoss battle. I know the attitude and swagger Willie brings to any ring he's in, but we also know just how much damage Jeff Cobb can do. So this one is going to be good. And in our opening contest, a huge eight-man tag, TMDK. They've been on quite a roll as of late. They're going to go four-on-four four with members of the United Empire, which include Great O'Conn, Aaron Hanare, Kyle Fletcher, and Mark Davis. Should be a huge encounter. Let's waste no more time. Let's get to United Empire Rising right now. opening match, Well, happy 4th of July weekend, everybody. It is interesting that a group that calls themselves the United Empire returns to the colonies to stage a takeover here in the city where this great country was founded. Hey, Rick Abani, Matt there Rayloff. is a lot, yes, absolutely, undertones to this one this week, folks. United Empire, a special edition of New Japan Strong. And they're calling their shots left and right. They are taking over the show from top to bottom. We're going to kick off with some incredible tag team action here, picking up a lot of what was left off at events like Capital Collision. TMDK represented by Bad Dude Tito, Shane Hayes, Mikey Nichols, and the top dog, Jonah. Indomitable force that TMDK is when they are all together. And the first ever American member, a huge deal back at Capital Collision, Bad Dude Tito, joining the ranks officially. He'd been an associate of TMDK, but finding himself an official member of the group. You know, these two teams essentially more or less one and one against one another between Capital Collision and New Japan strong in these giant multi-man matches. Here tonight, though, on United Empire Rising, they wanted a chance to prove once and for all that they are the top dogs. No disrespect to Jonah in this rivalry. The 
There you see the first represented member of United Empire, Great Okan, quickly joined by Aaron Hanare and the fellows of Aussie Open. Kyle Fletcher on the left, Mark Davis on your right. And these gentlemen have become a force to be reckoned with. Great O'Connor surprised a lot of folks back in D.C. A thunderous reception there and here as well. There you see Kyle Fletcher, the youngest member of the group. And, and it's, to me, Fletcher and Davis, it's a matchup of symmetrical paths. If you look at Davis and Fletcher, they're, they're the hot Australian team. Not so long ago, before they established themselves on an international stage, that was TMDK, that was Nichols and Hayes. And, and Jonah can say the same looking across to the United Empire at Jeff Cobb. Very similar build, the powerhouse with agility. quite a role, as has TMDK. Like we said, for all intents and purposes, the series is not at one. But since this is tonight, this is the United Empire show. I, I was going to say, does it give them a, a home field advantage, as it were, since they're kind of calling the shots here? Well, it, you can speak to it better than I can, Matt. I mean, when you sign bouts, you sign matches, you don't often get to pick your opponents at the level of detail that United Empire yeah, has here As tonight. we like to say in the business, the, the boys, we don't have the pencil. As it were, we're not we're not usually making the ones making decisions. So when you're given that kind of power, it's got to give you some confidence. But TMDK isn't going to wait for that. And you see Fletcher and Nichols, Great O'Con and Bad Dude Tito, and Hanare and Haste. Hanare, Irish woman in the corner, Shane Haste, back elbow from Hanare, the fighting machine. Oh, Aaron Hanare, martial arts expert. And this one is broken down quick. I I, I shouldn't have expected anything else from these two groups. Oh! And if you're new to Aaron Hanare, he will try and beat you with precision kicks, precision punches. Oh, look at that. It's about the reduction of surface area, which increases the impact for Hanare. And tag made. And just like that, they have cornered Shane Haste and cut him off from the rest of his team. Haste in the corner. Oh! Those Mongolian chops to the, the trapezius. Ooh. Repeated. No, no, no. No, no, no. And, and folks, this isn't just for fun. This isn't just for show. <laughs> look, at, look at the impact. Davis and Fletcher on the outside. And then he normally, well, now that's for fun. But yeah, this is where it starts to hurt, Matt. It's a full on. Stretch there, but this, it, let's make no bones about it. It's about a show of dominance. It's about a show of force. Oh, and that's what United Empire is all about right now. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit more than that to drop that top dog. And big knife edge chops to Davis. Davis followed right back. Oh. It's great to see these two great Australian teams, Aussie Open and TMDK. I got to say, my first time seeing Aussie Open live and in living color was all the way back at Windy City Riot. And immediately on that night, I told Kevin Kelly, cover, 
two. I told him, hey man, I, this, these guys are two of my new favorite tag team right here. They are so impressive. When they get going with that high speed double team offense, it's something to behold. You know, I, I know the, the pandemic kind of warped our sense of time and space, but I saw these gentlemen in 2018 in England, of all places, on a Ring of Honor tour. They impressed me then, but they've filled out. They've gotten smarter in the ring. They've gotten better in the ring. And, and in 2018, they would have been fish out of water with Haste and Nichols. And now, a team they've looked up to and idolized, they're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, and they're not backing down. Standing nose-to-nose, -nose, and I'm loving this strategy right now. Until Mikey Nichols made his... Uh, presence known there the series of body slams while holding on to the arm never letting your opponent go that's a great strategy oh big back elbow i see that made it to australia it's worldwide baby irish have not countered off the rope oh nichols oh. and haste and aussie open may have studied tmdk but they don't know every trick in their playbook Kyle Fletcher getting dropped there now, and now the top oh. dog, Dota. Oh, oh, God! Right in the announced position here. Fletcher, the ribs crashing into the barricade. And just like that, it's TMDK who have taken over, proving that they truly do not kneel to anyone. And maybe this. Oh, God! As much as Aussie Open has grown over the past few years, the experience factor on behalf of folks like Haste and Nichols coming into play here. And with Mikey Nichols, I, I knew he was a great star, but when he came off the plane for, for Capital Collision, he, he was in the air for about 30 total hours. He went Australia West to the United States, which is an unusual route, but it's the only route that would get him here. He competed, oh God, on almost zero rest after 30 hours of travel. And that's what world-class athletes do. It is, this, this business can be rough on the body and the mind, especially from that travel standpoint. We go all over the world, but you always gotta be ready to compete at the highest level. And Jonah in legally for the first time here, unloading on Fletcher. And you gotta like what TMDK, D, TMDK is doing right now, Matt. They've isolated Kyle Fletcher. I mean, that's that's tag team 101, right? Isolate your opponent from their team. Oh, and now it, out of our view and out of the view of our referee, just choking Fletcher. Yeah, you know, you talk about these teams in different ways being Almost like a funhouse mirror version of each other in different fashions as the top dog One, takes two. a seat. And nothing fun about that. But somehow Kyle Fletcher getting that shoulder up was almost a miracle. Tag made to bad dude Tito through the slam. But as I was saying earlier, you're talking about them being on some mirror and they drop each other. And both, uh, both teams also have the same idea about what the rules and, and what's fair and what they're willing to do to take advantage, so we'll see which team here is gonna be able to do enough. And that's what's been so interesting about the, oh God, oh come oh. on! Oh. And obviously the referee gonna, gonna let this one slide. Uh, that one going. Oh, and look at that! Hey, Mikey Nichols just choking Fletcher. Well, normally you would say something like that might be a low blow, but he's upside down, so it's a high blow. It's all legal, right? Oh, oh God. But that's my logic thought about it like that as, as Haste, these precision kicks, just unloading on Fletcher. We saw this back in Los Angeles. Oh, Fletcher, though, not going to back down. Fletcher standing up to Haste here, who quickly shuts him down and turns out the lights. Got all of six feet, two inch tall Kyle Fletcher there as Mikey Nichols in. Haste and Nichols. And a very accomplished tag team over the years. Some historic, historic run in Noah came to Ring of Honor, New Japan briefly. And now really looking to make their mark. Oh, on Strong. And in the Pacific as well. As they continue to peel members of the United Empire off the apron across the ring, leaving Kyle Fletcher no one to tag. And now just talking some smack to one half of Aussie Open, who's not taking too kindly to it. And Fletcher. Showing a lot of heart right now, trying to fight back against Nichols. 
Oh, leaned into that forearm. Oh. Oh. Cross the collarbone. And the blistered chest of Fletcher gets another. And credit to Fletcher here for staying in this. He's been, he has been getting the meat of the damage here, courtesy of TMDK, but he is fighting all the way through. And look at Davis, the outstretched arms of Dunkzilla trying to, trying to make the tag. And Nichols, though, grabbing the ankle. Smart move there from Mikey Nichols. Always have a hand on your opponent. And dragging him back toward the blue corner, toward the corner of TMDK. He's attempting to, but Fletcher oh. keeps reaching. Fletcher fighting out of the bad part of town, rolls through, makes a tag! And in comes the other half of Aussie Open as Davis looking to light everything in the ring on fire. Stacking up, Haste and Nichols kicks to the midsection there. It's three on one though, I don't care how good or how much adrenaline you have. Ooh, hands down. Numbers dead. don't lie. Davis takes out Tito. Double clothesline, sends down. Haste and Nick. Oh, uh oh. And now. Oh, oh, the headbutt to the arm. Davis still keeps going, though. It takes the top dog down. And tag made to Hunt Ari, who has his win back here. Oh, bad dude, Tito. Gets Ocon. And Ari unloading Tito. And these two are mirror images of one another. The New Zealand striker versus the bad dude from the streets of Los Angeles. Ooh. Rolling out of the way, Ocon! Oh. Ocon catching Tito, sending him into the corner. That beautiful synchronicity there on behalf of United Empire. And now the train won't stop. Wow! Into the power bomb! Cover to TMDK there just in time. And you see Fletcher and Jonah, Nichols and Davis. Uh-oh, and, and Hanare isolated here in the ring. Well, we saw some four-on-one teamwork from United Empire. Now it's TMDK's turn. And Jonah moved the ring. Plants him down. Tank Buster. Tank Buster connects. But now, Tito up top. Frog splash, 240 across the chest of Hanare. Two, TMDK cannot get the victory just yet. United Empire sliding in, got the back of their teammate of Aaron Hanare. And TMDK and Aussie Open. Two of the great Australian teams now, toe to toe, forearm, forearm. I hope we get this two on two at some point here on Strong. Oh, please, and now let me be there for it. Up and over. Aussie oh. Open. Sends down TMDK. Ducks the double clothesline. Oh, sending the big man to the floor as well. And now Aussie Open looking to fly. Fletcher, Davis, connect. And much like this match began, it is broken down into chaos once again. Oh, and Okan. Mongolian chops to the back of the neck. In the corner, Okan. Oh, oh, blockbuster from Bad Dude Tito. Huge blockbuster, sending Okan right back where he came from. Forearm connects. And once again, we find ourselves down to Tito and Hanare. And forearms. Oh, shot to the midsection. Ducking the spinning forearm. Oh, you, oh my oh, God. Oh, oh. Nasty headbutt. And Hanare wants to put this one away. Oh, plants him down. Two, got him. And what a way to kick things off on United Empire Rising. Well, if you're United Empire, 
and you've got a show that's all in your hands, that's a good way to kick it all off. Certainly is. The Queen's crown reaches around the world, and it goes to the victors here in our opening contest. And Mikey Nichols taking exception to the victory here. Well, and you, oh, you've oh. got to imagine, look, look, look at some of these underlying stories, if you will. TMDK Aussie Open, that's a match we've got to have at some point. Jonah, great O'Connor exchanging words on the floor. And you got to know Bad Dude Tito and Aaron Hanare will want to settle this one on one. That was just a taste, I feel like, for all the members of both these teams. But what a way to kick off United Empire Rising with a victory. Still to come, our main event, Will Ospreay takes on the legendary Homicide. Coming up next, Jeff Cobb takes on Willie Mack. Uh, first, we're gonna hear from the great O'Connor. Tonight, United Empire 1 and 0 on United Empire Rising. Coming up next, Jeff Cobb takes on Willie Mack. Like it's just, it's, it's always with other people. They can never beat us. They've never faced us. Manos, El Mano. So, oh, oh, I wonder what would happen then if you didn't have anyone else helping you. I look forward to it. I want to see, you're bringing it out of us. This is fantastic. You've unleashed the beast. See, it's New Japan Pro Wrestling, and there's a couple of words there. <laughs> pro wrestling, wrestling and Japan, because Pro Wrestling and Japan and TMDK yeah. have gone side by side mm -hmm. for years. Yeah. And Kyle, it's been going a bit longer than you were, I don't know, when was he even born? Uh, a few years but ago. the fact of the matter is, we've been laying the groundwork mm -hmm. for you for years. Yes. So don't think for one second that we're gonna stand by and let you get anywhere near in front of us. You yeah. will not walk on the shoulders of giants because yeah. we are giants yeah. and Aussie Open you ain't nothing but a couple of poses. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Well, Matt, there's been a lot of debuts as of late, but there's been one I've been looking forward to. You know him from Impact Pro Wrestling. I've caught some of his bouts in Ring of Honor. Our worlds collide with Willie Mack's world. It's, it's Willie Mack's world. We're all just living in it here tonight 
on the United Empire Rising. Oh, baby. The Mac Attack. The No Limit Soldier. The new free, newly a free agent, Willie Mack, out here exploding onto the world to take any and all opportunities that come his way. And what an opportunity he has here in New Japan, strong on United Empire Rising. His New Japan Strong debut. It has been five years, over five years, since these men have met one on one. But in between, in between, a lot has happened, including the fact that these two men teamed in Ring of Honor. They were in the NWA Crockett Cup together. And, and so these two men have been friendly over the years. They've been partners. I'm interested to see how that relationship has changed as Jeff Cobb has become the Imperial unit, one of Will Ospreay's sort of hired muscle, a real force in the United Empire. Well, we all know how quickly things can change, relationships can turn on their heads in the world of professional wrestling. So to see these two collide one more time will be interesting to see. We've said it all about Jeff Cobb, Olympian, former IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champion, former Never Openweight Champion, has even held that Ring of Honor World Television title held by men like Jay Lethal, Samoa Joe. He's seen his, his stock and success rise even higher with the United Empire. Jeff Cobb is one of those rare athletes whose strength, speed, power are hard to match up. Like I've had the absolute privilege to either work with or call some matches with some of the greatest, strongest. You know, we know Alex Coglin here at New Japan Strong. People like Claudio Castagnoli. Yeah. Pound for pound, some of the greatest athletes in the world. <laughs> Jeff Cobb, he belongs in that category as well. Unreal strength, unreal footwork. He's always in the right position at the right time to counter or go on the offensive. Almost no weaknesses in the armor. And Willie Mack, you could, you could say the same thing. Willie Mack, he will never wrestle the same match twice. He's so unique. Such a versatile competitor. I mean, he is, he is large, he is strong, but he has this agility. There's a reason he was a, such a big star in the X Division in Impact Wrestling. He has almost this Lucha Libre-esque ability to be an athlete in addition to his strength and power. So we're gonna see which one of those wins out in this contest with Jeff Cobb. Willie Mack, a huge fan favorite. So glad to see him make his debut here at New Japan Strong. See a counter on both time. Oh, Mack actually Ooh. able to power Cobb back to the corner. Was not expecting to see that there. And not expecting to see the clean break either from Cobb. Well, I don't, apparently, according to Willie, it wasn't too clean. Cobb might be a little uh, greasy oh. ahead of his matchup, but w Willie will always let you know how he feels. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Never met a more honest man than Willie Mack. He don't sugarcoat nothing, even though he himself is he's a pretty sweet. But now Cobb turning things around on Willie. Well, in, I, I think Jeff Cobb was trying to throw a west side, but Cobb might be from the furthest west. He's from Hawaii and has represented Guam. I guess that's, yeah, that's the ultimate west side. Right. Dollar and elbow tie up here, side headlock. You know, Willie Mack, I know that, that you know Matt. Oh, it, see, here's that <laughs> swagger, baby. And that, is, that has come of years of overcoming obstacles and challenges. Willie's going to have a good time while he tries to, you know, rip your head off. Yeah. Nice drop down there. Leap front from Cobb. Up oh. and over, roll through. Some Lucha Libre. Both Told you. There's that agility from Willie Mack. Inside Mexican arm track from Willie Mack. Oh! Hurricane Rana. And how many men that size do you see pulling off a Hurricane Rana like that on the fly? The Mack Daddy makes you jump, jump. And Willie Mack will make you jump. Oh! Willie Mack 
Cohn for one more. Turning the dials on Jeff Cobb. Oh, and, and what? I mean, is Willie Mack the newest member of Bullet Club? Should I be speculating on that now? Wow. Yeah, page of their playbook. Yeah, no kidding. Didn't even think of that. Shoulder tackle. Look at this. Turning up the heat on Jeff Cobb and picking the big oh. man up. Oh, wow. Big body slam. Almost shades of Norman Smiley there. Oh, wow. Shades of a, another superstar you may have seen before there. Taking a little time to, to celebrate into the camera there. Recognizing quickly, though, that you got to stay on top of a guy like Jeff Cobb. Cobb creating separation. Oh, what a five finger say to the face. And Willie Mack. Oh my God. And Willie Mack showing he can do a little bit of everything, flying, soaring over the top rope. A little bit of Rex in effect, because that was a uh, rump shaker from Willie Mack. Oh. And it's got Cobb here right on the outside. Things are so hot Whoa. here in the arena. And Willie. Willie Mack turned off the lights. Willie, you oh. broke the lights, brother. In the corner. And if Willie Mack wants to turn the lights back on, Willie Mack's going to turn the lights back on. Breaking the Ooh. count. We are now right in front of the broadcast position here. Oh! Across the chest. Not only is he lighting the arena back up, he's lighting up the chest of Jeff Cobb. Six. And these fans in the corner here getting a view. <laughs> he's telling him to hold up. He, I, I, I think, I'm not sure if Willie knows he's got a full 20 count here. He just realized that as he engaged with referee Stephon Smith there. Oh, oh God. Oh, continues. He's open palm strikes. And that's what's interesting about New Japan. There's not, there's not many different rule changes. Oh, goodness. Many different rules than other organizations, but the 20 counts a unique, unique wrinkle. Absolutely. As Cobb saw his opening there, though, running back into the barricade. And Cobb rolling back in, and he will take the breather. Cobb favoring his leg there. Going to take every moment he can. Willie Mack. And danger here. We're at 16. Getting dangerously close. That 20 count. He's oh got one God. second. Oh, Willie my Mack. God. The return of the Mac. Right in the nick of time. And quite frankly, Jeff Cobb had a hard time believing it. Jeff Cobb returning Mac to his vertical base here. Across the jaw. We hope everybody's having a great 4th of July weekend. Oh! oh. <laughs> Thanks for bringing us live to your barbecue here tonight, wherever you are this Saturday night. Oh, goodness. And you just saw the sweat fly off the chest of Willie Mack as Cobb now starts to hammer down. Oh, now the taunting reciprocated as Cobb exposing oh. the chest. Oh. Going back to work across the sternum there. Clubbing blows. From United Empire's Hoss. Yeah, this is the Imperial unit. That is not a nickname given to him lightly. Ooh. Oh, look at this. And as if, as if you couldn't tell, Jeff Cobb is not a light man, ladies and gentlemen. He is all muscle. There's nothing like seeing New Japan live and seeing a guy like Jeff Cobb in person really makes you appreciate just the size and the power. And, and when you see guys like Mack and Cobb go at it, you realize just how strong you have to be to be in this position. 
Yes. Willie trying to fight back. Swift uppercut there. Oh, but a headbutt rattles Mack. Oh, he almost tumbled to the outside there. Ever since Cobb was able to slam Willie Mack into those barricades on the outside, he has slowed the pace down of this one. That's going to be the advantage for Cobb. Slow it down, pick Willie Mack apart. And if Willie has any chance of turning this around, he's going to have to do the opposite and pick that pace back up. Open hands across the chest. Ducks the close line, like you said. Here comes the speed from Willie Mack. Willie Mack in there. And just like that, it's like I say it and they do it, folks. I promise I don't have a script. Willie Mack just knows what he needs to do to turn this one around. Well, you've seen Willie so much in impact, you know the strategy. When the speed goes up, that's when it starts to benefit Willie Mack as he connects with the forearm. Corner to corner with a big pump kick. He's laser focused and he could be looking here. Cobb off his feet in the corner. Could be ready for a shock here. Oh, oh. It's the rip tire cannonball. Inverted there from Willie Mack. Got that right leg of Cobb, hooks the left. Two, two count there. And Willie Mack back into this match here. Cobb, a lot left in the gas tank as you see him get to a table base first. It's Mack getting to one knee himself here. And Willie Cross created himself an opening. Who has, but oh, has Cobb up, can't quite put him back down. Close line to the back there. Cobb, close oh. line, sending Mac down. Once again, Cobb slowing things down, but oh, goes for the moonsault, misses. And once again, Mac has an opportunity here. Lee Mac, fireman's carry position. Plants him, Samoan drop. On, get ready. Oh, if he's, if he's got a pulse. You know he does. There's the moonsault Cobb was looking for. Two. Wow. Willie can't believe it. He thought he was going to be able to put it away there. And if this is your first time seeing Willie Mack, we hope you're enjoying this as much as we are. What a unique talent. What a special talent. And he and Jeff Cobb are giving everything they got right now in Philadelphia. Now Philly loves Willie. They've proven that so far as he goes to pick up the big man again. Fakes Cobb out. Oh, snap German suplex on the run. Catch. And Willie Mack fired up. T-Bone plants Cobb. And cover here, hooks Too the inside big. leg. And, ooh, two and a half there. Cobb able to fire that shoulder up, stay in this one. Max got to be wondering now. He's on a roll, but he's got to be wondering what he's got to do to put this one away. Going to the outside here. Not afraid to take to the skies is Willie Mack. It's Jeff Cobb. Shot on the arm, trying to break that grip. And now head to head, it's Cobb. Trying to maintain control of Willie Mack. Oh, God. Swift headbutt to the jaw there. Knocks Willie Mack a little loopy. Second rope on the inside for Cobb. And now they're both, both wrestlers in a dangerous position here. Whoa, 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 whoa! My God! The impact! of nearly 700 pounds rattling the ring on that superplex. Not only that, but the fact that he deadlifted him off the Two. top to bring him back into the ring. That is an incredible feat of strength. It's hard enough to do that in the ring, let alone when you're balancing on those ropes, Ian. I can barely bend down to tie my shoes. I mean, yeah, this is... Meanwhile, uh, you see, I think the nose of Jeff Cobb's been busted open here a little bit. See a little bit of the blood on his wrist tape. 
Wiping some of it on his chest like war paint, though. I've broken my nose before. That'll mess with your vision, your equilibrium. As Willie Mack ducks the clothesline, Cobb coming off the ropes. Sends it back down. Cover, two, three. Just two and a half again for Willie Mack. There's a quick version of the sky high. Shout out to pro wrestling legend D'Lo Brown there. Almost getting the win for Willie Mack. Willie Mack trying to shake the cobwebs across the finish line, find that one last gasp, that one last move that will put Jeff Cobb away. And what a win that would be. That would cement him in the upper echelon of New Japan Strong. Absolutely, and Jeff Cobb though, remember this is United Empire Rides and this isn't just any New Japan Strong. Oh, looking for the oh, stunner. going for the number one stunner. Oh, Ooh. spin kick. Willie Mack. Has Cobb up and over. Cobb whoa, whoa, whoa. rolls him up. One, two, three. He got him. <laughs> and we talked about the footworks and fundamentals. Sometimes it's not the most impactful move, but those do add up. That superplex adds up. The chops add up. And Cobb sends an opportunity, gets the roll up, gets the pin. The and right place at the right time. That's all you need to secure that victory. And Cobb is now made it 2 0 for United Empire on their very own version, their very own episode of New Japan Strong here, United Empire Rising. And what a battle this has been. Cobb got the best of Willie Mack. Willie Mack got the best of Cobb. Wow. Saying Philly doesn't get the tour of the island. Said he didn't need it to put away Willie Mack. We were alluding to that earlier. Well, I mean, you know, you see that with rookie wrestlers, they go for their finishing move thinking they have to hit it or else they can't win the match. Cobb is smart, Cobb's a veteran. He sensed the opportunity and, and picked up the win. Not, not maybe what the fans wanted to see, but nope. what he needs in the win column. A win is a win is a win. You look for those opportunities, but either way, great win for Jeff Cobb, but a solid, solid effort and a solid debut for Willie Mack here in a New Japan Strong ring. Great debut here for Willie Mack. Leaves on the... Losing end, but a great effort nonetheless. Fans still to come. Our main event, Homicide. Wrestling legend makes his debut in New Japan Strong, taking on Will Ospreay. That's coming up next. Folks, we'll be back with the main event shortly, but we have some exciting news to share. You may have seen it announced online. Next week, the Strong Tag Team Championship Tournament begins to crown the first ever Strong Tag Team Champions. Eight teams will compete in a single elimination tournament to determine the inaugural champions. Let's take a look at the opening matchups. Fresh off a shocking appearance at Collision in Philadelphia, Christopher Daniels teams with Yuya Yuamura against Aaron Solo and Nick Camarado of The Factory. A clash of factions sees TMDK, represented by Shane Haste and Mikey Nichols, face Team Filthy's West Coast Wrecking Crew. Stray Dog Army's Barrett Brown and Mysterioso face the returning Midnight Heat. And finally, Aussie Open takes on the debuting Evil Uno and Alan Angels of the Dark Order. It all kicks off next week, so be sure to tune in.
keep up the hard work, guys. Hey, Royce, where's this one going? Parts unknown. Tokon Shop Global. We ship worldwide. Why, buddy? You finished those Okada orders yet? Yeah, with the new Team Filthy shirt, Papi. Genius. Eso, mi gente. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. Well, some are just born fighters. Some come out of the womb swinging. And this man has fought everybody everywhere except for one place, New Japan Strong. As a young man, as a student of the game, he watched everything, every wrestling that Whoa. he could get his hands on. Oh. And in, look, look who's walking. And, and he's not coming alone here tonight. Along with Homicide. And for a man as accomplished as Homicide, this has been his dream. And what a moment for Homicide here. Stepping into a new Japan room. <laughs> Shit. Ladies and gentlemen, we are being joined at this Join time by the Mad King himself, Eddie Kingston, ready to watch this incredible main event we're about to have here. Eddie, how you feeling? <laughs> well, man, I couldn't have done what you just did. I can't do a lot of things that you can do, but holy moly. Yeah, but Homicide making his New Japan Strong debut, you got to be so proud of, of Homicide. And his Well, Osprey may have bitten off more than he could chew here tonight. You know, the United Empire got to select their opponents at this event, United Empire Rising Edition of New Japan Strong. And, and you gotta be crazy to want to step in the ring with Homicide, but that might be some of the nicer things that have been said about Will Osprey. It's going to be one interesting clash of styles for sure. Will Ospreay, who's been known as the aerial assassin, likes to take to the skies. Homicide, knockdown, drag out fight from the streets of New York. That's going to be an interesting comparison here once the bell rings. And you got to think about home field advantage. We know Homicide from New York City, but Philadelphia is where Homicide. Oh, we're just down the street, baby. Yeah. Homicide made his bread and butter here, saved Ring of Honor from CZW. A historic bout here in Ring of Honor and really kept that company's banner flying for maybe longer and as long as it could. And I think, Eddie, you can correct me if I'm wrong, I think once the novelty wears off of seeing a star like Will Ospreay, former IWGP World Heavyweight Champion, I think the fans are going to start to rally around Homicide. Around the waist, the British Heavyweight Championship, representing Rev Pro in his native United Kingdom. <laughs> Homicide, of course, in the Independent Wrestling Hall of Fame. And <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> 
I can't disagree. I know Kerry Silken doesn't disagree either. I don't think Tony Khan disagrees either. And once we see that Hall of Fame maybe expand under his uh, leadership, I, I think you'll see Hamas. I think Hamas will be in there sooner rather than later. Six. These boys do bulls locking horns. Like you talk about the interesting coming into enemy territory. This might be United Empire show. This is their show that they are running. However, we are in the U.S. of A. We are in Philadelphia. This feels more like homicide's turf. And look at him just staring. Oh, oh. oh yeah. gonna, You've been on both sides of the coin, Eddie. You've been his tag team partner. You've been out opposite homicide. What does that do to you when he starts talking trash like that? I, Eddie Kingston does not lie, ladies and gentlemen. I had the absolute honor to go one-on-one -on -one with Homicide a few months back in New York City. And there is, there is that cold stare from across the ring that's unlike any other opponent you might have ever faced. Like they saw 100%. And the scary part about Homicide, he, he, he can wrestle with you too. You know, you think you're gonna brawl, but look, I mean, he's got this wrist lock in. He's frustrating Osprey. A man who's been on fl unflappable in the Tokyo Dome, unflappable in Osaka. Nice tight side headlock there. On the side, off the rope, shoulder tackle. Oh, but not going down that easy. And now, mm. well, Osprey talking a little trash of his own, and that's what you get. And now grabbing the hair, oh, almost stapling that middle finger to the forehead. Oh. And it's Homicide firing back, but Osprey connects across the jaw with one of his own. Oh. <laughs> and this one breaking down to a slugfest pretty quick. Into the corner, flips Osprey over on his feet. And this may be ooh, one of the few weaknesses in, in Homicide's game. Osprey so talented in the air, it's tough to combat that aerial offense. Ooh. Double wrist lock. Oh, no, you're, you're absolutely not far off, though. <laughs> Strong style, King's Road. It's, it's, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Drop to hold there. Oh. Certainly is, and, and he's a huge fan of Masa Chono. Chono helped him get into New Japan Pro Wrestling. I remember the first time I saw Chono capture the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Those classic matches against KG Muto. Mm -hmm. First time many, including myself, and, and perhaps yourself, homicide exposed to that style. As well, Osprey rolling through, up and over. Oh! oh. Wow! Yeah, just like that, drops the Commonwealth Kingpin. Homicide picking up steam now. Oh! anything away from the leader of United Empire. It's physical, it's mental, it's a 360 degree dimensional. And now right in front of the broadcast position right here. here. Right in front. Oh God. Us. Right across the chest. I, I, oh. Oh, look at that. And right here, oh. right in the monitor, oh, right to the eyes. Osprey, not afraid to take it to the streets himself here. Well, he was exchanging blows with Homicide there, and obviously. Oh. Oh. 
Ho -ho. Here we go. And, that, and that's what you get. Take your eyes off a homicide. Don't give him an opening. That's it. Right on the steel ramp. Oh, no, homicide. Just a touch of madness in his eyes right now. Just a touch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's like that 24 7. And now, we're going to follow up. One's oh. good, two is better. Oh, maybe on the light. Oh. Osprey. Oh. Dropping the hits, trying to block it out, though. Homicide held on to his hand before he got out. Oh! oh. Homicide as well. Spinning neck breaker, Osprey. Homicide may have gotten the better of that exchange, though, as Osprey writhing in pain right now. He got driven down. Homicide knew where he was going. He felt the pain, but he knew where he was going. Osprey had no idea. Oh! oh! I mean, sanitary reasons. I, I'm not saying cheating. I don't know. <laughs> and, and by the hand, by the wrist. Oh! And, oh! 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 And the hand now caught in the barricade, and it's going to be a lot, pretty tough to springboard and climb the top rope if you got a broken left hand, I'll tell you that much. We actually talked about it in the back. And that's it. And that'll take away the os cutter as well. Into the corner. Ooh, back elbow. Second rope on the inside. Ooh, oh, oh, oh no. Spilling out. In front of us here, Homicide. Unbiased, you're doing a great job. I mean, if my best friend was out there, I wouldn't be doing as well as you were. <laughs> as Homicide trying to make it back in from face lock. You know, if Matt was out there, I could, I could never be as unbiased as and you were. Nobody would. It's okay. He's trying, oh. he's trying. Osprey trying to bring him oh. the hard way. Homicide saying, no way. And this is what I love about Homicide. Always, oh, what? No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Eddie, Eddie. Hey, oh, it's the open. Oh, you want a piece of this? No, no, come on, Eddie. This is, uh, oh. oh, and then Will. Protecting himself by biting the wrist. Hey. Wow. Oh. Spicy drop kick through the butt. No, Will. Come on. Hey, you got to eat lunch somehow. That's right. Osprey cover here. One count. But hey, you got to admit, if Osprey's starting to bite people, that means someone like Homicide's getting in the head of the Commonwealth Kingpin. He's desperate. And there's a lot going through the mind of Will Osprey. He feels like the referees have been cheating him here in New Japan. He feels like things have been working against him. Ooh. I get it. I get it. Cover. I get it. But you know what I call those people that feel like that? Ooh. And that defiance and he's, of homicide. And to Osprey's credit, he's stepping into it. He's stepping into the madness. Oh! And homicide! Oh, God, open hand palms. Oh, headbutt. Wow! Stepping into it. Homicide connects. Oh, right to the eyes. And back, back to it again. I appreciate your candor as Osprey, boot to the throat. I mean, all I can say is, is if, you're, if that's what you feel like you've got to do to get your advantage back, it means you're feeling threatened, that's for sure. That's and these, are, these do tend to be relaxed rules when Homicide is in the building. That's all right. I've now been dropping, I, trying to stretch homicide. Now dropping the elbows across the top of the dome. 
And look at this, trying to grab the wrist. And, and, and it's interesting, Homicide almost trying to wrestle when Will is now trying to fight Homicide. It's almost like the roles have reversed here. Knee, two. Yeah, a little bit of an insincere cover there, if you ask me. And, and foot on the neck here. And he, he's looking right at, oh, he's looking right at you, Eddie. Oh, come on, Eddie, 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 Eddie. This ain't your match. No. Oh. Eddie Kingston Eddie. does not mess around. Eddie Kingston. You ask him to bow up, and he's going to bow up. And Aussie Open seconding Will Ospreay. They are licensed seconds. Eddie Kingston here for commentary purposes. But Matt, he has joined the Obviously, match yeah. here. He's seen and heard enough, especially with Aussie Open on the outside for Will Ospreay. Eddie Kingston backing up his man. Charging in, double boots. Both hooks, wow! Just snapping oh. the ankle and the knee of Will Ospreay. And now, Homicide looking to pick up where he left off. And there's the Tope Canhilo with the somersault through the ropes. And you see Kingston right in the ear of his friend, his mentor, Homicide. Also probably to make sure that Aussie Open doesn't lay a finger. And look at this, oh. And, and Osprey shooting that middle finger to Homicide. Homicide grabbing it. Gives a whole new definition to small joint manipulation. Right. And they're both in the, the business of mind manipulation right now. This has become a mental game at this point. Who can get inside the other's head? Because physically, this match has been a, a bit of a stalemate thus far. Back and forth. Despite the differences in the two athletes, they've both taken it to each other. Oh, look at the bridge. Oh, but that back, that back, too much damage. He couldn't hold on. Couldn't quite hold on to the bridge and keep the cover on Osprey. But Homicide, like I said, is ever defiant. He's the type of guy who, as you're punching him in the face, is telling you to use well with colorful oh. language. Oh, went for the Tiger driver. Countered into Hurricane Rana. Osprey, big boot delivers. Now perching him, second rope on the inside. Homicide perched up top, it's Osprey. This so is, dangerous. This is where Osprey lives. Whoa! Oh. No one home, great counter. That's the intelligence of Homicide Tornado DDT plants. Will Osprey, center of the ring. Cover, two, three. No. And Homicide thought that one was gonna be it. I think many here did. As Homicide, oh, he's looking for the cop killer. Looking for the cop killer here. He wants to put, he wants to put Osprey away. Osprey knows it's coming too, fighting him Oof. off. Looking for the 187. Irish whip reversed, handspring. Oh, connects. And you see Davis on the outside, getting Osprey pumped up for Aussie Open in the United Empire on Empire Rising. Osprey springboard, got him. Cover. Be here. Ooh. Homicide ever resilient, digging down deep. And Kyle Fletcher giving advice, maybe on positioning, maybe on on something he saw from Homicide that maybe Osprey didn't pick up. Maybe a way to finish it here. Could be. Homicide, though, if he's got a pulse, he's not giving up. And you see, any chance he gets, he's going to grab at the ear, the nose, the eyes of what he can, but Will Osprey. And that low center of gravity is making it very difficult for Osprey. Oh. Ooh. Oh God! The tip of the boot just across the forehead, and maybe even side. oh, and maybe even into the eye there, that left eye. Osprey has him up, looking for the Stormbreaker. No. Ooh. The homicide landing on his feet. Wow! Got him with the Itzagiri. But Homicide, he stays on his feet as well. Oh! oh. An explosive overhead suplex. Sends Osprey into the quarter. He ain't got it, 
And Homicide once again has an opening here. Does he have enough wherewithal, enough energy, adrenaline, whatever he needs to defeat the former IWGP World Heavyweight Champion? This might be Homicide's first time in a New Japan Pro Wrestling ring, but he defines fighting spirit. Standing switch. Back fist misses. Oh, Haas Cutter blocked. Haas Cutter blocked. Couldn't get all of it. Homicide standing tall. And Homicide looking for his cutter. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, plants him down. The strength of us two. Tiger Driver gets two. Osprey can fight him almost anywhere. Os Cutter! Os Cutter hooks the leg. Two. Wow! Homicide saying, hell no, we ain't done yet. Much to the chagrin of United Empire's leader. And there's only a handful of athletes that have ever kicked out of that Os Cutter. But he may be. Oh, he was he was setting him up maybe for the hidden blade. That big forearm to the back of the head. And homicide. Couldn't even hold himself up for Will Ospreay to hit that maneuver. How many years fight? How many years fight? Let's go! Fight! And you hear Eddie Kingston yelling, imploring homicide to fight. This is very personal for Eddie Kingston. Oh, oh, Homicide coming too. And just pawing at him. Just with taking this disrespect, yeah. And staring eye to eye. And it's it's not phasing Homicide. Some have callous muscles, callous bones. Homicide has a callous, callous spirit. Ooh. Let Nostra know exactly how he feels about him and how little he cares. No shots connecting on Homicide. If Homicide's heart is still beating, if the blood is still pumping, he is not out of a match. And now Homicide getting this back to his, his game plan, his style of fighting here. Let's slug it out. Oh, he's, he's asking for one here. Ooh, just stepping up. And with these shots, it's almost like he's getting stronger. He's meeting Osprey where he's at. Osprey unloading on Homicide. And he's making Osprey work for it here. Oh, look at that. Oh! oh he's biting him. He's biting at the ear of Osprey. And that creates an opening for Homicide. Around the throat. Oh, oh God. The foot just caught in the back of the neck there of Homicide. Crescent kick. Oh, hidden blade misses. Whoa. Hidden blade misses. Homicide. Cutter. Got the cutter. Cover. One, two, three. At the very last second, Osprey somehow, some way, gets the shoulder up. Outside the back door, that shoulder sneaking out, Matt. We, me and you both thought that must have been it. He's won championships, titles, built a Hall of Fame career on the cutter. And this move, the cop killer and all, outside. Osprey flips over. Oh, Stormbreaker, and no. oh. That's the clothesline block. Back Here we go again. This goes again. 187, cop right. killer! Cop killer! It's got to be. The crowd is as shocked as we are. The cutter, the cop killer, back my, to back. My eyes are as wide as homicides. I cannot believe. Whatever you want to say about Will Ospreay, he's a tough SOB, but now homicide. Oh, and, and homicide. He's angry. And look at this, Eddie Kingston. He's like, how do I get this thing off? I'm oh. going to give some punches. Oh, he's got the fork. Oh, man. And that was a diversion to get the ref's attention away from the fact that he's got a fork in his hand, Matt. Homicide's made 
his reputation. The referee sees it too. Hamas, I don't think he cares at this point. Wants to send a message to Will Ospreay, United Empire. And that's one hell of a way to make your new Japan debut. Oh, oh, oh. oh. The referee doesn't want to let it happen. Oh, kick to the back of the head. And that. Oh, hidden blade. Cover. Two. What? What? How? What? what? How? Stormbreaker. Cover. Two. Got him. It might say Will Ospreay in the win column tonight. And credit to him for taking this kind of a fight with that much gusto. But can we talk about Homicide kicking out of the Oz cutter, kicking out of the hidden blade, bringing the fight to United Empire in every way, shape, and form? Matt, I don't know what I expected when this match was signed or, or when it was announced. But I should have known to expect the unexpected. There were twists and turns in this match that you could have never predicted, never anticipated. Will Ospreay going into dark places. Homicide out wrestling Will Ospreay in some aspects. Delivering finishing move after finishing move. Will Ospreay with the resolve to kick out. Homicide with the return volley, return fire. Kicking out of Ospreay's best shots. Well, Eddie Kingston. Checking on his friend and mentor. And now. And it's. And he just swatted that fork away from Osprey. Oh, oh boy. And a line has been drawn here. Eddie Kingston and Will Osprey. Eddie Kingston showing them just where they can shove it. And this is what brothers do for one another, standing up for each other. Osprey said one-on-one. -on -one. He said one-on-one -on -one with Eddie Kingston. And will cooler heads prevail here? Homicide. Sign of respect. Handshakes. You know, as much respect as, as Will Ospreay is at least willing to give, it doesn't happen often. Homicide with an amazing debut here on New Japan Strong. But our episode today ends as it began, a celebration of the United Empire going 3-0 on United Empire Rising. What a night for Will Ospreay, captaining his squad to three victories here, Matt. A clean sweep for one of the strongest groups going today in professional wrestling. Will Ospreay leaves victorious after an instant classic of a bout. Fans, as Mark Davis and Kyle Fletcher celebrate, we thank you for watching this week on New Japan Strong. We hope you have a great 4th of July coming up. For the Trauma King, Matt Raywald, Omni and Rick Avani. happy wrestling, everybody. We'll see you next week here on New Japan Strong.